Welcome back to Cross Rifles Outdoors. Today we are going to be doing the Nosler AccuBond 180 grain out of a 308. We're going to be shooting at 100 yards. This is a 16 inch block, 10% gelatin. We have tanned elk hide, half inch OSB to simulate a rib or possibly maybe a shoulder blade. And it needs to penetrate 16 inches of block, another half inch of OSB, another layer of tanned elk hide, and then we have a jug of water. I highly doubt that this bolt is going to be caught. We will be using a Stevens Model 200. I've actually had this rifle. I bought it when I was in high school. I shot my first elk at 250 yards with it. It is running a Vortex Crossfire Scope. So I'll move back to 100 yards. Let's shoot this gel. Now you'll see three other wound tracks. This gel is expensive. I had to buy it myself. So we're going to get the most use out of this gel as we possibly can. Two of the tracks are from the pistol hunting at 100 yards video where we shoot it with a 300 grain 44 Magnum at 100 yards and then we also have a video on the burger elite hunter at 100 yards it's a 140 grain bullet so go ahead and go check these out i'm gonna stop talking i've spun the block so our entrance is clear i'm very impressed with these bullets and i love them so let's see what they do in gel let's go get to shooting okay we're at 100 yards Let's go ahead and take our shot. And we have a positive impact on the gel. Let's go take a look. Okay, let's look at the damage we've done. First thing to note, our hide and OSB is just right there on the other side. It looks as if we have destroyed. Yep, we'll have to remake this one, folks. We'll have to remake that guy for our next set of videos. Our jug, yep, it was sitting roughly like this. It did spin the bottle and it went all the way through, which, which is impressive. That's a lot to get through. Now I was favoring the right hand side of the gel to where we had um, our cleanest track, hopefully our, our best chance of showing where it hit. And as you see, we hit exactly where we were holding. We're just, a, just, oh, an inch and a half in from the right. Ah, the sun's coming out. So hopefully you folks will be able to see this. I mean, look at that wound track. Now this one right here on top, that's our 44 Magnum. Actually, ah, hopefully you guys will be able to see this as well as I can. This wound track right here where my thumb starts. We've got two inches wide, we'll lay it on the side. And we're looking about two inches wide again. So a two by two permanent wound cavity with complete penetration. We penetrated both hides, an inch total of OSB, and still went through our gallon of antifreeze, not antifreeze, but windshield washer fluid bottle. That is impressive. And 
I'm sure you guys can see this, that it's dragging chunks of our OSB through. It is doing a lot of damage and I'm going to have to clean this block up and recast it so that way we can do more videos like this. If you like videos like this and you want me to do more of them, comment that in the comment section down below. I'm having an awful lot of fun doing these videos. So you let me know. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you on the next one.